So high run right, getting our pivot to move effectively, coiling your body up into a great position. This is a great drill and for a visual effect, I'm going to show you how to use it with and without. It's just a wonderful way to get your hip planes and get your shoulder planes and get ourselves coiling up in the right position. Now we're looking at getting right side extension here. We're looking at getting your knee plane, if you can get this part right, as well it has a good effect. A lot of the time we can get our left knee just to move forwards, we're drawing the right side back and we're getting a higher right side and trying almost to get a lower left side here. Now obviously, you know, when we're looking at the elbows, they don't do that in the swing, but you're looking at your body here, all right? We did a video a while back and someone said, oh, your arms don't do that. But this is a great way to create a sensation of what your legs do and your shoulders do in your pivot, all right? Getting the right side to move up, getting that lead shoulder down and away, and then you're picking up your club, and obviously with your club, the club's working on a different plane, isn't it? You know, you're taking it straight back, the club's gonna be perhaps level with your hands here, not too far here, not too far here, but you're keeping that sensation of where your pivot needs to be, right? Where your, where your body, where your, where your structure is. And getting this part of the swing correct, what it actually does is it gets your right hip up higher than the left right at the top of your swing so when you're getting up the top of your swing when you pivot correctly and you've got this right side up higher you've actually got some pressure and some force to move forwards and you know get some lateral shift when we're turning level we're really just not gripping the ground effectively not really getting stuck into it and getting the balance and getting the parts that we're after and, and simply when we look at the word i think you know when people use the word turn you know, we turn our body. I think a lot of the time we're seeing people move up and away just simply because referring back to the word of turn. Now this, this motion, it is, there is a, obviously we're turning, but it doesn't really feel like it's, it's controlled by a huge turn. In fact, what we're trying to do is just get this all in one line and keeping your head very still. And it's actually, you know, it's physically demanding. You know, it's easy to move off with a high left shoulder, but that really to get any pressure, everybody wants to press a ball out, right? Everybody wants to get some contact. And you know, when we're struggling to get the pivot correct, we're, we're in some big, big trouble. Or when we move off to get pressure, I have to come back over and I've got some s steepening, I've got some right hip problems I'm coming in. So even when we're looking at uh, Ricky Fowler over the last few years, he's had some issues with this. Top players can get themselves into some trouble here as well when we're looking at pivot, all right? Now let's have a look at how we can practice this and get a few feels as we're hitting a few golf balls so that we can get you know, stuck into your practice, drawing this right side back, keeping the left shoulder down, keeping the head still, you know, keeping your structure and use it as a bit of a stretch as well. Sometimes when you, you know, when you're not, might not be 19 years of age anymore and you're trying to get your body to you know, hold on to certain positions and you might feel a few areas here, it gets a bit tight. Let's have a look how we can practice this now. Uh, get stuck into it so that you can build your swing, build your backswing that sets off a wonderful chain reaction on the rest of the motion. One of the great drills you can do is presetting the hands a little bit here and when you preset them you're keeping that toe of that club, you're keeping that lead wrist very flat and you're getting that sole of that club up to one o'clock. Now if you preset that, I'll just say that again, preset it, get the club head level with the hands, not too far behind, not too far in front, and get that toe at one o'clock. Now when you get that preset position, try and keep your hands around that same area and then turn, keeping a centered head and you'll get a feeling from here also that this right side is really lifting up. And when this right shoulder gets up, you know, you've almost got a wall here, right? So you're keeping your right side, it's gonna keep it high and keeping it, your head really, really centered preset and move this body the correct way and then you get everything lined up in your pivot all right so that when you're swinging through you can get some good structure in your swing you can get your hip planes your shoulder planes working nicely this is people what helps us come sort of from the inside because once you start to get everything sort of 
pivoting correctly and keeping your lead shoulder down and underneath your chin, you can get the right shoulder to come down underneath and this is what helps shallow. A little bit too high and we're getting caught and we're coming over, it might only be a little bit and for the advanced players, you know, you're going to block it. And this is what McElroy did so well early on in his career, at, you know, the 2009, 10, 11 and 12. It was just absolutely remarkable how he was using his shoulders uh, in his golf swing. Probably the best um, swing that I think I've ever seen in my life was around that, that period with McElroy. So getting stuck in to this, this movement, pivoting, get your reps in. One, preset, one o'clock, two, right? And then feel that, feel that move and get it in there. Great way to practice, <clears throat> get stuck into it, get your reps in guys, get your shoulder playing, get on the right direction to playing some fantastic golf. So guys, if you're serious about your golf, have a look at this. This is really incredible. We've got some amazing angles here as we go through one of the best golf swings of all time. And I like to use pictures so, you know, you can get a feel. Now seriously, have a look at that pitch on the right. You can almost feel the tilt in it, all right? So sometimes it doesn't do us justice when we're just looking at a picture from the front view. I'll show that in a, in a second because it, it fools us. It's very deceptive, all right? You gotta look at the averages of movement and get yourself inside them. And let's have a look at that move as he draws the right leg back and the left knee moves forwards and you can see the right hip moving back and the left shoulder moving down the closer you get to these you know some of these positions the better you're going to hit the golf ball you know when you're looking at the two averages of the shoulder plane you really what are your numbers do you know what they are can you actually draw something that has a line on it because this is v1 pro systems 99 dollars a year on worldclassgolf.com you know you, you, it's normally 600 bucks but you can actually get in there I mean, it's got a thousand videos in the system and an online lesson that goes for 20 to 30 minutes for $140. It's a pretty amazing, you know, deal for, for people that, you know, get serious about their golf, plus the other deals in there from V1. Now, have a look at this position here. Have a look at the hip plane moving through the ball. This is one of the secrets to your downswing. Because once you look at his mouth's free and the left shoulder down, he's just going to reverse the rolls. But the shoulders will move now and it's, you're able to. Bring the right shoulder further underneath. So when your arms are parallel here, you're around about 15 degrees higher. You know, a lot of the modern day pros now are moving up into the, you know, the 65 degree area. But it's an interesting one keeping that, you know, your hip tilts, your side bend. And guys, when you get this position at the top, when you when you do have a fantastic position, it's up to you. You can position, you can actually position, that's what I show people, you can position your left arm on your shoulder plane, or you can have it a bit higher. You have a bit lower, whatever. If you come in a bit steep, you might want the arms a bit lower. If you tend to, you know, you might want the arms up a bit higher. But it's this position here, if you can get close to the position here, that really helps most of us come down in a, in a wonderful position. And your rhythm, right? Your rhythm, it's dependent upon your sequence. Now, I, I, I know this. I've had a couple of operations on my hips. And I know how important it is to get ourselves in a good, because under pressure on the golf course, there's a long day out there and you've got out of bounds fences, you've got water hazards, you've got to have a good sequence and rhythm. You've got to have the time in your swing to be able to repeat it. And it's what it's all about, repeatability. And once you get this pivot correct, the right side moves up. You know, we've seen, you know, it's like a wall, this right shoulder, your head doesn't move. And you, then you get this wonderful symmetry in your swing where everything's really all lined up. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. And join us in the chat room and join the community of World Class Golf Instruction. And you can get in a fairway bunker shot, you can hit clean shots because you're right there on top of it. And I'm telling you guys, you've got to pay attention to you know, evidence-based material and the averages, the professional averages of, of emotions. We can see Jason Day here that I had the pleasure of walking around for 18 holes and asking that many questions. Very, very similar positions coming down where we start to see this lead leg out here. And this, the, the advantages of getting this pivot is it's moving forwards in this direction. It's almost running downhill and that's how we can get pressure into the front foot and get ourselves moving through the ball. Lovely. Guys, worldclassgolf.com. Have a look at some of the incredible deals on there. Uh, there's a lot of videos coming through. We've got over a thousand videos, advanced pitching series, swing geometry. We've got biomechanics. There's a lot of stuff coming. And as I said, I'm teaching people from all around the world. We have a lot of people from the States uh, with online lessons. 
craighansengolf.com. There's a deal there uh, also with World Class Golf. And uh, yeah, you get your, your online lesson side by side examples that goes for 20 to 30 minutes. Something I put a lot of time into. Guys, I hope you enjoy the video and uh, opens your eyes up a little bit how important that uh, the structure of your pivot affects the entire swing.